This rare and unusual machine is called the Demos II. It was made in Zurich in Switzerland by Musch und Huber. Hans Huber was the uh, inventor and designer of the mechanism. And it was distributed by Theo Mugli, also in Zurich. It was first made in around 1921, and then it was called the Uto. That had a, a casing that was uh, screwed together at, from various parts, but very soon after it was uh, changed to the Demos, which has this single piece uh, cast aluminium uh, uppercase. It was then uh, upgraded to the Demos 2, and after that even the Demos 3. I don't know what the differences are between the 1, 2 and 3. Uh, on the outside they look exactly the same, except of course that the Demos 1 doesn't have uh, uh, the 2 up here. And the number 3 just had an extra decal saying number 3 down here. Uh, the number 3 didn't actually have a, a new uh, casing, they used the same mould, so even so it says Demos 2 up here. Um, it was intended to be a, uh, a simpler version, a simpler, simpler alternative to the uh, uh, pinwheel machines. So it, uh, it doesn't actually use pinwheels, it just uses fixed toothed segments. And uh, let me show you how that, how that works. You can input a number, it has a nine digit uh, uh, input register. You can read off what you've entered right here, and when you then turn the crank it gets added to the register up here. Let me actually clear the register first. You can do that with this uh, handle, and to clear the counter you turn this one. The counter is the uh, register down here. If I now uh, turn the crank, which is on this side, you have to turn it uh, clockwise. And what happens is these tooth segments move downwards and then back upwards again. During the uh, downwards phase, the whole register get moved in, moves in and uh, engages with these uh, teeth. And on the return stroke, the register moves away and that is when the carries happen. The counter register does not have a carry mechanism, uh, so yeah, if you if you were to turn the handle uh, ten times this just rolls over to zero and uh, nothing else. So this is how you uh, add numbers. To multiply you can shift the whole uh, uh, input register to the left, it's on its uh, carriage, uh, internal carriage, and you can shift the register by using this, this knob, you can just pull that outwards until it uh, hits the stop. And uh, yeah, that, that shifts it uh, towards the second digit, and as soon as you turn the crank, it aligns itself properly. So that way you can uh, multiply by larger numbers. So I've now multiplied it by 35. 35 times 6365 is this number here. And of course you can keep going, you go to the next digit, and turn, and so on. You can also uh, enter the, uh, this multiplier uh, in the opposite direction, just uh, shift to the right, and it'll align to the next digit.
to turn to move the carriage uh, several steps in one go you have to turn it so that you uh, release the uh, the catch and then you can move any distance and uh, yeah as soon as you turn the crank it'll align to the nearest digits uh, that you have so there's quite a lot of uh, movements here you know you can shift it towards the digit to the left or to the uh, to the right or roughly in the middle and either way it'll it'll move to the nearest digit when you turn the crank to clear the input you have to shift it back to the right and then you can use this bar by shifting this bar up it goes uh, moves slightly to the right and then uh, catches all the pins so that you can uh, shift it back up as soon as it drops down it shifts to the left a bit and that allows these uh, the pins to drop through the through the gaps when you turn the crank to subtract you have to use complementary digits uh, let me show you if I want to subtract some number I'll enter it using the this uh, these red digits here this show the complementary digits to the white digits here so I'll first put a whole lot of zeros in and let's say 34 so if I now uh, add that or really subtract that it adds this number which is equivalent to subtracting this number so the result is here unfortunately it does also cause this extraneous one to be added here because you can't really enter all the complementary digits for all the higher uh, yeah the higher uh, locations in the register but it's good enough for a, a cheap machine you can uh, you can just uh, uh, do division in the usual way as well say I've uh, I've entered one in the uh, left uh, spot on the uh, on the counter and I'm going to uh, divide by by seven so I'll, I'll just put the uh, Yeah, I'll just put this this red counter on the uh, seven, the input, and shift that all the way to the left. So now this seven is aligned with the digit just to the right of the one. And uh, yeah, now you just uh, start turning the crank, and you can turn until until the. Uh, register underflows until it shows all nines here and when that happens you've gone one turn too far and you can undo that last turn just by uh, undoing the turn of the crank this essentially subtracts again or adds it again sort of it undoes whatever changes were made to the register by the last turn of the crank you can't um, use this uh, reverse uh, turn of the crank to uh, yeah to to do subtractions normally uh, like you would be with a normal uh, pinwheel machine because when you undo the turn of the crank it <clears throat> it doesn't actually perform a subtraction it just undoes all the changes that were made to the register so now I've uh, I've done the, the division on the first uh, digit and I have to shift to the right and start subtracting 7 from the next digit along if, you're, uh, if you can uh, stop turning the crank before it underflows you, uh, then you don't have to undo of course that last turn so uh, that makes it a little bit quicker 
with more complicated divisions that's not always so easy to see. Oh, that was one too far. And there we go. And there we have it. I've uh, divided 1 by 7, I have a remainder of 2, and the result is 0 0.1428.5714. Actually, I went, uh, I think I might may have forgotten to clear the counter before I started. Unfortunately, there, there is a lot of rubbish in these higher digits because that's what happens when you, uh, when you divide. Uh, because again, as with the subtraction, yeah, you, it doesn't properly do the complementary digits in the higher parts of the register. The carry mechanism in this uh, in the main register is quite interesting. Uh, let me show you that. If I uh, If I add 99999 and now add, say, uh, a 4, what happens is the 4 first gets added to that last digit, then the carry happens to the next digit. That happens slowly, but the carry to all the remaining digits happens instantly when a whole lot of springs are released. Uh, it's, this, it's a sort of a two-stage carry mechanism. I've never seen that before in any other register in any other machine. So this was the, uh, the Demos 2 made in Switzerland. Thank you very much for watching.